So who talks first? You talk first. I talk first. The Rangers of the New Republic. It is deemed to be dead, but it's not. I have news for you all. I have an inside source from Lucasfilm that just gave me details on what is actually happening. For the first time ever, you're going to hear this on Han Talks First. Rangers of the Republic is not dead. It is actually being rebranded into Power Rangers of the New Republic. Get ready, everybody. The Power Rangers are coming back not only on their own. They're going to cross over with the Star Wars world and join Hera Syndulla. And they're going to join Mando and Baby Grogu. And they're going to fight off... I'm sorry, I can't keep that going. <laughs> okay, so let's really talk about Rangers of the New Republic. So it seems exceedingly likely that the original plan for Rangers was to give Gina Carano her own series. Now, I am not shocked about this news, that it has reportedly been canceled. And here's why. Back in November of last year, we all know I made a couple of videos about it. Disney announced a slew of new shows coming to Disney Plus, along with some a few movies. A lot of them Star Wars related, the most of them Star Wars related. In total, about 10 to 12 projects coming from Star Wars. Now, this was not a fan event. A lot of people think it was, and they thought it was promoted poorly. This was not a fan event. This was an event for investors only that was open to the public to watch as well. Now, what does that mean? All the time, shows are announced at quarterly meetings for companies like Disney. And all it is is to show that their investors' money is going to good use, which is developing content. So all they did was just announce all the shows they're developing. Maybe not even 80% of those shows that were announced aren't even being worked on from an art department form or a they don't even have writers for most of them probably they were all announced just in good faith for their investors saying hey we're putting your money to good use here's some stuff we are you know contemplating working on 98 percent of shows that go into development never make it out alive with something like star wars which is still technically kind of new in its transition to direct to consumer relationship they announce all these things because they have nothing real tangibly to announce. <laughs> so they're giving you as much as they can. I imagine there's probably 20 other shows that they have in development at Lucasfilm that they haven't that they could have put up on that board, but they chose not to. Now, what does development mean for a show? My theory is that with Rangers of the New Republic, any movement that was made on this show was strictly to commission a story or a script from somebody that was it that's all i think it was i think uh john favreau dave filoni probably came up with the idea and then they commissioned a writer to say hey write us an outline write us a treatment which they only probably spent four to ten million dollars on an outline alone i know that sounds crazy i know that sounds like a lot of money and it is a lot of money <laughs> i could live the rest of my life with that kind of money that's about average that they spend on developing a a concept for a show or a movie four to ten million dollars could be even more sometimes depending on if the spec script is really really good they didn't cancel the show it wasn't officially canceled because it was never greenlit it was only ever in development now what did they do they halted development that's all they did was it because of gina carano <laughs> it could have been but it also could be because they have a lot of stuff on their plate at the moment i definitely think rangers of the republic is not dead i think it could come back. And I think it could come back really strong. I think the developmental process is done, which means it's just on hold indefinitely. Could come back, it could not, but that happens all the time in Hollywood. So with all that being said, why did I bring this up? Because they have the Book of Boba Fett, they have the Mandalorian season three coming, Obi-Wan is being shot, Andor's being shot. They're trying to wrap um, you know, negotiations with Patty Jenkins for her movie and her writer, and they got a lot of stuff going on. So to put a developing project on hold, seems pretty standard you know lucasfilm is still a small company they're trying to expand but it's going to take a while watch the Han talks first podcast live every monday at 12 p.m pacific on youtube or twitch may the force be with you